Hey guys, <clears throat> I had a request for this video, uh, hardness test on screwdriver blades. Um, before I get to that, I want to do a shout out to uh, Don the Toolman. Check out his channel. He's a newcomer to YouTube and uh, I think he's doing okay over there and he could use some uh, input from you guys. Alright guys, getting off of that, I got the uh, new Craftsman. USA Milwaukee, Japan Vessel, USA SK, USA Snap-on screwdrivers. We're just going to test the tips. Uh, this is nothing conclusive. I'm out of lab. It's just, it just, it's interesting. It's uh, food for thought, more or less. And I think, I just think these files with the HRC Rockwell scale are very interesting, and they give some, uh, they make good conversation. I know that because we all have our favorites in the tool world, what we like so on and so forth. I'm not loyal to any particular uh, brand. Nobody pays me. Any tools you see on my channel, I have paid for out of my pocket. Let's try a new Craftsman first here. And all the, the blades I'm going to show you, are, there's no markings on these blades. The blade's in pristine shape. I didn't, you know, I didn't break that one. <laughs> and you can see on the tip of that, there are no Marks. Try to get the focus for you a little bit here. You can see there's very little. If there's any marks on there, I'm not seeing them. There you go. I'm just going to hit this. I know this is an oxide finish, but I'm going to hit the sides and the tip. I'm going to start out with the 45. Or no, excuse me, the 40. Put it on a table. Try to do them all the same way here. Try the edge. The 40 is marking this one up pretty good. I'm trying the edges all the way around. And there was no markings on here. And 45 is scratching that. The 40, excuse me. The 40 was scratching this one on the tip that's the one made in china it is starting to scratch so i would say that's not too hard that's the one made in china take a gander craftsman is in the house we're starting to scratch the blade you can see on the edges there a little bit it's hard to get the focus, but it was starting to scratch it. So I'm going to say that's a 40 on that. Let's try the uh, Milwaukee, made in USA. Let's make sure you see that in there. That's got that cross has finish, finish on it. I really like these screwdrivers. I'm, I haven't done these yet, so it'll be interesting. Here's the 40. Just slides off it. Trying the other edge. That didn't do nothing to that. There's not a mark on it. Not a mark on it. I don't think it was doing anything. It looks like it's not really doing anything. Let's try the 45. 45 is starting to scratch. Try the edge. I try it both ways here. The edge. Let me see what we got here. Very, very little. I don't really think it was scratching. No, I don't think it was scratching. It sounded like it, but it's just going across those cross hat, those uh, cross hatches, because I'm not seeing any. A little bit there. Yes, it was. 
Yes, it was. There you can see it. It was scratching. So the 40, the Craftsman was 40, and the USA Milwaukee was 45. It's hard to pick it up in a camera. So let's try the vessel. The vessel hasn't got any marks on it as well. This one's made in Japan. I'm not seeing anything on there as far as marks go. Here is the vessel. The vessel, I'm going to start with the 40, put it on a table here. Forty is just sliding, sliding off. It's not doing anything. Or excuse me, the 40. The 40 is just sliding off. I didn't see any marks at all on that. That's the 40. That's where the craftsman was. Let's try the 45 on a vessel. The 45 is scratching. Let's try an edge here. Now the 45 is starting to scratch the vessel. I can hear it digging in a little bit. It's not a lot, but it is starting to scratch. Just a bit starting to scratch it. I don't know if the camera can pick that up. It was starting to scratch. See it there on the edges a little bit? Right there, maybe you can see it. Right there, you can see it. It was starting to scratch the tip. So the vessel was a 45 as well as the Milwaukee. Far from conclusive, just a food for thought here. It's very interesting. Here's the SK. Not any marks on there. It's pretty clean. Let's try the 40. This is a USA, USA uh, made SK. Let's try the 40. 40 just sliding right. The 40 ain't doing nothing. 40 sliding right across. 40 just slid across it. You can tell by the sound when it's doing it. You can you can tell by the sound. The 40 just slid across that. Let's try the 45. That's a 45 on the Rockwell scale. 45, I think, is starting to dig in. Try it the other way. Let's try another edge here. Yeah, 45 is starting to just scratch. You can hear, you can tell by the sound, but not, but not much. Not much though. I don't think it's, it's not really touching it. Very, it sounded like it was, but I'm not seeing any marks on there. <laughs> Very little marks. I think that's a little bit harder than the 40, the 45. Let's try to 50. Yeah, the 50's doing something here. Try the sides of it. I'm trying to get the sides all right around it. Let's see if I can get a. Hmm. It's not really leaving any marks though, I don't think. Let me see here. And that was the what? 50? I'm not seeing a lot of marks on there. Yeah, it's scratching a little bit. I hit it down here where the tip wasn't, and you can see it a little bit, but the 50 was starting to scratch that edge. It's hard to focus on it, but the 50 was starting to scratch that. I'm going to give that a 50. Trying to pick it up. It was scratching the edge. You can usually tell by the sound. I'm going to give that a 50. I said the SK was the best so far. That was a 50. Let's go to the snappy. 
Snap-on's got no no marks on it either as far as the very tip goes. I'm not seeing a lot of marks on that. Go with the 40. 40 is just sliding off. I can tell you right now, 40 is not doing nothing. It slides off. 40 is not touching it. I'm not surprised with the 40. 40 wasn't touching it. Try to 45. Just food for thought, guys, you know. I guess so we're not a lab here. Different sound, but I'm not seeing anything on the edges. No. No. That's the 45. There's the 50. But the 50s make it like a noise like it's doing something. Fifty, this is a fifty. This one's pretty hard. Yeah, it's a snap on. I'm not here. I'm not a snap on I'm not here. I'm not a snap on fanboy. But there's a fifty. The fifty's not a fifty is making some marks, but nothing crazy, but it's making marks in it. If I can focus that for you. You can see one there. Probably the tip. Tip's got some scra light scratches on it. I would say the snap-on's the hardest. And I'm on a snap-on fa fanboy. Does got some scratches there that where it was starting to scratch the edge. Right there, you can see it. It's hard to pick it up. You can see it there a little bit. It was starting to scratch that edge. I don't know. I said a snap-on was a 50. Um, my thoughts. Oh, well, it's far from conclusive, but the snap on SK are pretty close. I would say the 50 range. The vessel was probably second, along with the Milwaukee and obviously the Craftsman China were the worst. No surprise there. So the Milwaukee's and the vessel were 45. They're they're in that range. Those are uh, pretty close for second, as well as the snap on and the SK made in USA. Snap on SK tied for first, Milwaukee and Vessel tied for second, Craftsman China is in last. I plan on doing sockets, a few other things in the future, and then we're going to move on to flex head ratchets. I'll do a quarter inch drive, locking and non locking, maybe regular and then long, and then go to the three eighths, regular and long, and half inch, regular and long as well. Give me some feedback. Let me know what you think. Just food for thought here. Uh, this is far far from uh, conclusive, 100%, but it's just interesting. Um, these snap on them and the SK were very close, and, and the Milwaukee and Vessel were very close for a second. None of them were, were horrible other than that China uh, grassman. <laughs> okay, guys, take care.